you're healthy all through and through. Okay. okay. So stomach, if you have any of the issues that I name, okay? Fevers, chills, night sweats, headaches, problems with your vision, uh, irritation of your eyes, problems with your hearing, ear pain, trouble swallowing, or runny nose, post-nasal drip, cough, wheeze, chest pain, uh, problems breathing, nothing yet? No, Great. Uh, heartburn, vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, blood in the stool, any guy issues, uh, skin rashes, lesions, uh, muscle pain, joint pain. No, Good? Okay, good. fantastic. Okay. But with uh, DCS. So, uh, like we said, joint pain. Uh, you can have, uh, it can be just an ache, a throb. It can feel like an ice pick in your, in your joint. Uh, it can be excruciating more so when you move it. Uh, in fact, if you get that pain, do not move your joint at all past that. Uh, you can have it feel like there's bugs crawling on your skin, an itch, uh, a strange rash, which and if you notice any of these things within 48 hours after you land, also let us know, okay? Uh, neurologic symptoms are uh, the hot topic for symptoms over here right now because those we've seen can, ca uh, can cause unusual long-term symptoms, possibly like just fatigue for a long, long, long time, yeah. but you don't want to deal with that. So it can be uh, start out just as a, as a light headache, it can feel like a migraine, you can have pain behind your eye, ringing in your ears, different visual changes. Yeah. Uh, so those are, are numbness and tingling in, in your body, which feels and presents very similar to if it's a um, if it's a skin symptom. Mm -hmm. So those are those are the main ones. Um, belly issues as well. This one's not necessarily DCS, but it's uh, altitude-wise. Okay. Did they talk to you about diet at all? What you should be eating beforehand. So before going up in a U2 flight, I remember just like uh, what happens. Uh, what happens to gas as you rise in altitude? It expands. Exactly. So uh, what, if you have any uh, gas in your stomach, what's that going to do? Or intestines? Yeah, larger. Exactly. Wow. So that can cause a lot of stretching and belly pain. So you know, as much as I hate saying this as a doctor, I don't want you eating fiber or uh, veggies, especially like cabbage and okay. you know things that you know beans right. uh, produce a lot of gas uh, beforehand. So eat a very processed food diet before your high flight, and uh, processed food like oh. the mashed potatoes, chemically stuff, okay. meats. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of the guys have uh, eggs and bacon for breakfast, mm -hmm. um, and also you don't want to have anything that you know might possibly give you the runs because say you're having, you know, the gas is expanding yeah. and... It's going to expel. Exactly. And that's particularly bad because it will ruin a quarter of a million dollar suit.